Naples making a milestone, the Center for Inquiry program, marking a 25th anniversary. So amazing. Christine Collier is a CFI founder. Pam DeFranz, a longtime teacher, also another founder here joining us this morning to talk about it. Okay, CFI schools, it's a more rigorous, higher standard school. Um, how, how does it separate itself from the other elementaries and, and junior highs of its kind? Well, the wonderful thing about the Center for Inquiry Schools is it was one of the first choice programs within the Indianapolis Public Schools. It's open to all students mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the district, and it's just a, a great opportunity for families to, to choose a rigorous program. Uh, that has a lot of options to it. You know, within the IPS public school system, it it's, it's allowing a, a higher learning option almost mm -hmm. for right. these and kids. And also, it's, it's very it's inquiry based, as its name mm -hmm. says, um, and so students have questions who that they would like to have answered, and so we try to help them answer questions they have about just the world around them. So they're really popular among people. Yeah. Uh, how many are there right now? Four. There are four right now, mm -hmm. and there is a high demand for these schools. There is. So where <laughs> is is there is there a plan for growth for opening more of these schools up? Part of our success of replication has been that we've seeded schools with teachers from Center for Inquiry. Pam started at our first school and is now teaching at our fourth school, uh -huh. and that's true for me also. So. Yes, there's a demand for growth, but we also want to make sure that we hold true to what we know has been successful in replication. So as you train more teachers and there are more kind of like a, a farm crop, if you will, yes. to then go open another school, that's how you'll do it. So it, it's only as fast as you can groom the teachers to go for that new school. That's true. Okay. I just there, there are so many families I know in downtown Indianapolis who are trying to get in these lotteries and the schools are doing so well, which is a good problem to have, you know. <laughs> Kids want, or parents want their kids to be in these schools. Um, so time will tell then if, if more are going to come to downtown and these other areas that need them. Absolutely. Okay, well, congratulations on the anniversary. Thank you. Um, any plans to celebrate? We do. We have wonderful plans to celebrate. Friday night is our adults only a celebration at the Central Library. Okay. And you can link to tickets to that event and information about that event on the IPS website and the Center for Inquiry website. And then Saturday, we are having a huge block party. We awesome. want the whole city to come and celebrate with us. That's at School 2 downtown. Uh, we're hosting it at that site. And there'll be a history booth, the unveiling of our documentary, mm -hmm. uh, food trucks, fun areas awesome. for the students, kids zone. So come one, come all. We want everyone to come and celebrate. <laughs> Fantastic. And just set, for my own curiosity, <laughs> as a teacher and watching these kids who come in and then following them throughout the years, what are the biggest changes you see in them in being in an inquiry school, getting those questions answered? Well, the fact that it's child-centered, it's mm -hmm. student-centered, and we try to help the students to move along with their own questions and answer those questions. And also, they ha it's, it's a lot of projects that they do. Uh, uh, there's an exhibition that's part of the IB program. Mm -hmm. um, so students are able to, to grow, I think, and, and I think one of our busy, bi biggest successes is the fact that our students are often very successful. Mm -hmm. um, We've even had a couple of students come back and be teachers. Uh, kind of like a Montessori concept almost. Just the hands-on um, learning. It is hands-on learning, but it's really about, uh, it is about students' questions driving the mm -hmm. curriculum. Right. And it is about, we added the International Baccalaureate curriculum. We were the first IB primary school in Indiana. We were mm -hmm. the first model of inclusion. So awesome. we really tried to model best practices and, and with that, help other schools in our city to grow. Fantastic. Ladies, thank you so much. Congratulations thank you. and have thank so you. much fun this weekend. Thank we will. You. Thanks. Uh, Randy Ellis, it, it, it should be pretty decent weather. I mean, hit.